Welcome to this short tutorial showing how we can compute a resection in magnet field. The purpose of a resection is to determine the coordinates of the occupied point by observations to two points with known coordinates. So to start the resection, we will go to setup and resection. And the total state soon position we need to identify with a name. So we'll, in this instance, we'll call this free four. Often a, a resection observation will be taken to an instrument position to just fix it in the location of some setting out as a temporary station. But if we wish to leave a permanent mark, such as a peg or a nail there, we can insert the height of the total station above the, the peg or the nail in this box here. Now we go to the next screen, we'll be asked for the to specify the first control point or first known point. And in this instance, the first known point is uh, station 200. We can also identify it from the map or the list view. Importantly, we need to specify or confirm what the prism constant is of the prism that's on that on station 200 at the moment. And I know that this is a um, tripod with a fixed topcon prism, and the prism constant is zero. So under Foresight PC, I will select zero offset. Ticking the, the green tick takes me back to the resection screen. I can now ask the total station to locate the center of the prism by hitting the search function. And when we have some observations at the bottom of the screen, we can hit the padlock key, which uh, locks the total station onto the prism and produces uh, a slope distance. We can record this observation. The second known control uh, position is station 100. And importantly, this has a different uh, prism constant. So I'll go to my uh, options screen and change the foresight prism constant. In this case, it's to an ATP1360, which is the standard robotic prism constant. I'll now turn the instrument uh, to the station 100, the prism on station 100, and then I'll ask it to search to find the center of the prism using the icon. The instrument uh, rotates and uh, locates the center of the prism. Hit the padlock key to update the distance measurement. And then record the shot. Now, the resection is improved by uh, aiming at more than two, to, uh, two fixed positions. Uh, the more the merrier, in fact. But it, we can make the computation from a minimum of two. And you'll see here that the uh, errors are listed, the residual uh, errors are listed, which gives you a, an idea of the quality of the position that's been calculated. I just want to show you now some options that we've got, and I'm hitting the magnet icon and the options box. Um, you want to ensure that the resection method is 2D plus H, and that estimate scale is ticked. By ticking the estimate scale box, we are asking the program to determine what scale factor would allow, applied to the measurements made, would allow the position to be perfect. In other words, no residuals. The difference here is that if we use the calculated scale factor, then that will actually scale the distances we've measured and produce a perfect fit. And I can describe that uh, uh, as uh, by ticking the box, going back to the calculation screen. And you will now see that the residuals are shown in Eastings and Northings are shown in zero and that the scale factor has actually been applied. Um, this might be the case in cer certain instances, but for most observations, uh, resection observations, it's better to leave uh, the use calculated scale factor box clear. This will now produce the standard errors uh, for the calculated uh, coordinates, and we can accept those uh, by clicking the accept button. It's now offering us the coordinates of the occupied point uh, as such, and we can accept that 
uh, by ticking the green tick box. It's always a good idea that once you've completed the resection to check the quality of the resection, you can stake out the last point that you observe to. So by staking out uh, and points, select 100 and stake out. This will then give you some idea of the quality of your resection fix. On the screen here, we can see the instrument is uh, tracking the prism and you can see it's within two millimeters uh, for the staked out position. So for all intents and purposes, this is a good resection. So this completes the short tutorial on how to complete a resection in magnet field.